So we're starting with developing news out of Syria. Just in the last half hour or so, a car bomb which has exploded in the east of the country. There it is, Deir Azor is the city. Both sides are reporting casualties here. We've heard from state television, it's been run on state television, and it's being uh, carried by the opposition groups, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, both reporting casualties, though we haven't got any full details at this point. Covering uh, developments for us, though, is Hashem al Barra. He is in Antakya over on the uh, Turkish-Syrian border. Let's hear what Hashem knows at this point. Hashem. Well, Kamal, we understand from different sources that uh, the blast took place in the parking lot of the uh, military intelligence in uh, the uh, district of uh, Ghazi Ayash, which is one of the neighborhoods of the uh, Deir uh, Azor. The uh, Syrian state TV is starting now to broadcast uh, initial uh, images of uh, the area which has been uh, hit by the blast, blaming uh, quote terrorists for being uh, the perpetrators of the attack. At the same time, uh, human rights activists and uh, pro-democracy activists on the ground have been brushing aside the accusations of the government, saying that these are similar tactics which have been replicated by the government in different parts of the country to discredit the pro-democracy movement as radicals and terrorists. All right, Hashim, if you get anything more, get back to us, won't you? Hashim Halbar is following developments in Syria from the Turkish-Syria border. These are the latest pictures we've got through the only pictures at this stage of a car bomb in Deir Azor in the east of the country. More on that to come. Another